Hello skaters and welcome to this video where I'm going to explain to you how you can make your wheels last longer. The wheels are crucial and good wheels often equals better skating. However, even the best wheels and the highest quality wheels get used and they get worn out and then it's not comfortable skating on anymore because we start drifting and we just can't control our skates the way we want to. But there is a really cool way and a smart strategy for you to make them last a lot longer. And I'm going to explain that to you guys right now. Uh, for the simplicity of the video, I'll just use one skate. And the reason for that is that we can't really explain it like using both skates because it's so individual to all skaters out there how you use your wheels, whether you do the double push, crossover, straight away, turn right, turn left. But therefore, I am going to focus on exposure. So how much pressure you're going to apply to which wheels. And if you use this strategy and this technique to flip your wheels and make them last longer, you are gonna be very certain that every side of every wheel is gonna have just about the same amount of pressure and exposure over time. So, what we're gonna do this is that we're gonna call these wheel here in the middle, the two wheels for the center wheels or the inner wheels. And the front and the back wheels will be the outer wheels. All skaters will at the best have an even amount of pressure on the wheels here, but let's be honest, even the best skaters out there will have a little more pressure on the front and the back of the skate. There's no way that we would have more pressure in the middle because whenever we finish a push, we either tend to lift up the front a little or the back of the skate a little before the rest of it. So therefore, we would want these wheels, the front and the back, the outer wheels, to go into the center after a little period of time. So first thing you do is to take the front wheel and put it in second, and you take your rear wheel and put it in third. Once we've done that for a bit of time, they will all be evenly used. However, we haven't used the other side as much. Therefore, step number three, we will take them all and flip them. So now we flip them, they all have had the same amount of pressure and exposure to, to drifting and to use, but we still haven't used the other way of, or the other, we haven't used the other side of the wheel in the front or the center. So therefore, we will now take the center wheels and put them in the front and the back. So just to sum up quickly here. First thing we do, we have our wheels like this, brand new. When we use them for a while, we will take the outer wheels, put them inner, and after a while, we're gonna flip all the wheels, keep them there for a bit, and then once they're flipped, we keep them flipped, and now we take the center wheels back to the front and the rear position again. And this way you're gonna have the same amount of pressure over time, the same amount or time of exposure to each side and each position of all the wheels. Now, in this video, I just explained it using a four wheel skate. If we're using three wheels, it's obviously a little different. Here, you gotta make sure that every wheel, say we're not having this last wheel here, we only got three wheels on a three wheel skate, obviously. Then we gotta make sure that this wheel has been in all three positions. Same goes for the second wheel. So if we start out with this, we would start out with number one, two, and three. After a bit of time, we would move this wheel to second, second to third, and third up here in the front. So now we had all three wheels in all three positions. After that, we're gonna repeat the process just once they're flipped. So we get them all in all three positions on each side. Now, next thing we gotta take into account here before we start flipping, how much time would we want them in each position? Well, when you start feeling that the rubber here is a bit used, it's not really smooth anymore as they are when they're brand new. And for sure, when you can't feel that little edge you got on the top here from a brand new wheel, it's time to flip them. This is very different from skater to skater. It depends where you're skating, how much you're skating, how big a person, how heavy you are, and how much pressure you apply into the skates. So it all comes down to who you are and what you're doing on your skates. Besides the flipping, besides flipping the wheels, there is more ways that you can try and spare your wheels. If you can avoid the T-stop or any kind of braking where you're literally rubbing the wheels against the asphalt or the tarmac, try and do that because that costs a lot, of, a lot of rubber and a lot of wheels. Another way to do it is to avoid drifting too much. If you can, don't do overly narrow turns, but obviously if you're on a track and you're a competitive skater, you have to do it. But those are just some of the ways where you can try and save your wheels and have a little more fun for a little longer. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope it helped you and I hope it was useful and uh, I hope you're gonna have more fun on your skates now that you can keep the wheels fresh for just a little longer.
Thanks a lot for watching.